What is actually gravity? Most people think that gravity is a force that attracted towards the Earth. But in reality, gravity is not a force. Since it doesn't exist, it is a kind of illusion. Now you may think that if gravity doesn't exist, then how do objects fall towards Earth? That's what we are going to discuss today. In 1666, Isaac Newton says that when two objects in space are attracted towards each other, this attractive force is considered to be gravity. By this, he proposed a formula for the gravity, that the force acting between the Earth and any other object is directly proportional to the mass of the Earth and the object, and inversely proportional to the square of the distance, which separates the centers of the Earth and the object. By this formula, scientists has discovered many things like how the gravity work inside the Earth, escape and orbital velocity of the rocket, how other planets revolving the Sun, and more. Newton successfully described how the gravity works. But he was unable to provide an explanation for why gravity works like that. Here, Newton has simply said that gravity may be caused by an agent because he has some belief in God. But later in 1915, Albert Einstein has given a clear explanation with his general theory of relativity for why gravity works like that. Isaac Newton considered a scenario that the falling of an apple from a tree to find what is gravity similarly. Albert Einstein considered a scenario that a man falling off the roof of a house. In this case, this man realizes that he wouldn't feel his own weight while he was falling. He would be weightless, and anything he dropped on his way down would move in uniform motion or remain stationary relative to him. Therefore, this entire situation would be just like in deep space. In space, you are traveling in a spaceship that is moving at a constant velocity. You wouldn't feel any weight here. Objects would remain stationary relative to you, or if you give them a push, they would move in a straight line at constant velocity. Hence, he is considered to be an inertial observer. There is no acceleration and no gravitational field applied in this case. Now, Einstein looks at these two scenarios and says that they are equivalent but not similar. Physically, they mean the same thing, which means that the man falling from the roof has not experienced the acceleration and the gravitational field. He is also considered to be an inertial observer, just like the rocket man. So here, when the rocket man turn on his spaceship thrusters and accelerate at 9.8 meters per second square to travel in space, all the objects inside the spaceship are started to accelerate towards the bottom of the rocket and he would feel a force that pushing up on his feet. This same force that's pushing up on you as you watch this video. This situation feels exactly the same as being at rest on the surface of the Earth. So, when a man feels weightless or remains stationary, he is considered to be an inertial observer. But when the rocket is accelerating, in this case, this man can feel his own weight due to the acceleration. So he is considered to be a non-inertial observer. Similarly, this same situation what happens in our Earth. We couldn't feel weightless, so you are also considered to be a non-inertial observer. Therefore, Einstein believed that the acceleration caused by the Earth is considered to be gravity. So by this, we are sure that there is no any gravitational field exist. We are just accelerating towards the space by the Earth. To further understand gravity, we must learn about space-time. In upcoming videos, we'll explain part two of gravity. Until our next interstellar adventure, keep looking up, stay curious, and explore the wonders of the universe. This is ExploreX signing off.